Welcome back to our higher level IB Chemistry video series. This is the second and final video in IB Chemistry Topic 16, Kinetics, where we will be looking at reaction mechanisms, molecularity, and Arrhenius' equation. Before watching this video, ensure you have watched both our IB Chemistry Topic 6 video and the first video in our IB Chemistry Topic 16 video series. As introduced in the previous Topic 16 video, a reaction can occur through several steps. These collectively form what is known as a reaction mechanism. When proposing a reaction mechanism, there are several rules that must be followed. It must be consistent with the overall stoichiometric equation, i.e. the steps must combine and cancel to give the overall equation, and it must be consistent with the rate equation. Consider the reaction A plus B goes to C, where rate equals KAB. A possible mechanism could be A plus X goes to Y, and Y plus B goes to C plus X, the rate determining step. As you can see, the X's and Y's cancel to give A plus B goes to C, so rule 1 is fulfilled. Then, since the second reaction is the rate determining step, both reactants A and B would be included in the rate expression i.e. rate would equal KAB. Thus rule 2 is fulfilled. Note if the first step was made the rate determining step, the overall rate expression would be rate equals KA, which would not fit the second rule and so the mechanism would be incorrect. This is one method that can be used to determine which step of a mechanism is the rate determining step. However, a useful exam point is that the rate determining step will have a rate equation equal to the overall rate equation. It is possible to propose several correct mechanisms for an overall reaction. In such situations, the principle of Occam's razor should be applied. I.e., if multiple mechanisms exist, the simplest should be used if it explains the data fully. A further concept tested in your rate topic is molecularity. This is defined as the number of molecules that take part in a reaction. For example, if CH4 reacted with 2O2 to give CO2 and 2H2O, the molecularity would be 3. It is commonly tested using the iodination of propanone. Let's look at an example question. The iodination of propanone with a rate equation rate equals K CH3 CO CH3 H plus can be given by the equation below. What can be deduced from the information provided with respect to a. the molecularity of the overall stoichiometric equation and b. the reactants involved before or within the rate determining step of the reaction mechanism. For a, two molecules of reactants are involved in the stoichiometric equation, so the molecularity is 2. For b, the rate expression does not include I2 so it can be concluded that I2 is involved after the rate determining step. Meanwhile, H plus must be included before or in the rate determining step. So, you should now understand everything about the rate expression and calculating both the order and molecularity of a reaction. To finalize, we will explore a complex equation that defines reaction rate, Arrhenius' equation. This equation, present in the data booklet, defines how an increase in temperature increases the value of the rate constant exponentially. The equation is K equals AE to the power of minus EA over RT, where K stands for the rate constant, A for the frequency factor, E for the mathematical function, E, EA for activation energy, R for the gas constant 8.31, and T for temperature in Kelvin. It is often considered as two parts. A, the frequency factor, which considers the frequency and orientation of collisions, and E to the power of minus EA over RT, which considers the percentage of collisions with energy greater than activation energy. There is also an adapted version of this formula. You've now reached the end of the preview for this IB Science video. If you want to check out the full video, head over to our website and select a membership plan today.